Hello and welcome to the Fiat Professional MXGP of Belgium. We're here in Lommel and uh, joining me for the pit chat is Sean Simpson. Hi Sean. How are you doing? I'm very well. This is like your home away from home, isn't it? Yeah, you could say that. Um, I've based myself around Lommel here um, in this region for probably about eight or nine years now, um, give or take um, a little bit of time. But it's nice to be here. It's like my, let's say my second home GP. Yeah. I class Matterley as my home GP, but this one's definitely local for me as well. Spend a lot of time training and testing here as well. Team uh, Teams just situated up the road as well, so it's uh, pretty local for everyone. Now, it was here last year where you had a standout performance, one, well, the standout performance of your career, really, taking 1-1 one, one and then the overall. How d does it feel coming back? Does that give you a bit of confidence? You got a good feeling in your belly? Yeah, definitely. Um, I was almost trying to do exactly the same program today from when I woke up, just try to get the try to get the vibe going again. Drove my camper the same way and all here, and uh, it's it's nice. Um, had a great time here last year. Yeah. Love the track, love the sand, and uh, yeah, just looking like there's going to be a lot of bikes out there this weekend, a lot of classes, and as everyone knows, the rougher the better for me. So, looking forward to it. Looking forward to getting back up to you know showing some results that I think I'm I'm worthy of this year. Yeah. Had a few tough tough things to get over this year with a small hand injury, virus after coming back from Thailand and a few other bits and bobs. So struggled to get off the mark really this year, just looking to try and put it back on the box this weekend. Why do you think that is? I mean, I know you were struggling a little bit with the setup of the bike as well. And just it's just been quite unlucky season really, because you've shown what you're capable of last year. Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't know, we, we kind of thought we had a great package coming into the year, um, I was feeling really strong. As I said, coming back from Thailand, I, I got some sort of illness, virus, a stomach yeah. virus. That sort of put me back five or six weeks and then uh, I had a big crash in, uh, in Mexico with uh, Lupino. Yeah. That put me back a little bit as well, just felt like I was starting to get back to where I needed to be in Spain, riding wise anyway, and then I broke my fifth metacarpal in my right hand. So. Since then, it was just really trying to get, get over that. Yeah. Still racing the British Championship, of course, trying to sort of uh, keep my hand in there. And yeah, it's just really been a bit, a bit of a tough yeah. one trying to get back to, back to GPs, back inside the top 10. Raced last weekend in Lockett. It was great to get two races under my belt. I hadn't, hadn't done that in ages. So uh, yeah, back in the sand, back at home, and hopefully gonna do the business this weekend. How's your hand feeling at the moment then? Yeah, my hand's feeling really good. Um, it's had about eight weeks now to fully recover, so I probably just uh, actually tried to come back riding too soon, but as a motocross right, rider, yeah. everyone does. Um, but no, it's uh, not giving me any hassle now, so just looking forward to getting out there, forgetting about that and getting on with my riding. I'll tell you what, some of the most spectacular racing we saw was last year when it was you and Gautier jumping the quad, and it, you were the only riders that did it, and the fans absolutely loved it. Can we expect that from you this weekend? Uh, let's hope so. Uh, the waves are a little bit different this year, a lot lower than they were last year, so if it's still possible, it'll make the landing quite heavy, but um, we'll see how my hand feels, but you know, there's plenty of other time on the track to make up uh, some good lines and, and some good racing techniques, so I'll be uh, yeah, going for the full package this weekend, getting a good start and uh, stay out of trouble. Podium contention, perhaps? I don't see why not. Okay, well on a flip side, how is things with the wedding planning going? Because it's coming up soon, isn't it? Are you getting involved or are you just letting Rachel deal with it? Because it's not really, it's more of a girl thing, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm trying to be there for her, but you know, if, if I suggest anything, then I'm wrong. And if I'm not doing anything to help, then I'm wrong as well. So I might as well just let her get on with it. To, sure. be, to be honest, I'm pretty lucky. She's doing a great job, so I can't fault her. You know, as a man and from a woman's point of view, you are always going to be wrong. You do know that, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Just get used to it and it's going to get even worse when you get married. OK, got that to look forward <laughs> to as well then. Sean, best of luck with that and of course, best of luck with this weekend as well. I hope it goes well for you. Thanks very much. Thanks, Sean. Uh, you can watch Sean and all the riders live on Saturday for the qualifying and of course, all the races on Sunday on MXGP TV.